What's up guys, in this video I want to show you 5 useful DaVinci Resolve shortcuts that will make your life easier and edits faster. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve here, firstly to customize your shortcuts you want to go up here in the left corner, press DaVinci Resolve, go to keyboard customization and here you can edit all your shortcuts. So the first must have shortcuts are normal edit mode and blade edit mode. You can search them here normal, edit mode, I have set it on V, but you can set whatever you want, and blade edit mode, blade edit mode, I have it on C, alright, let's see how it works, so I have a couple of clips here, and basically what these edits, uh, these shortcuts do is, whenever I press C, I have my cut tool, and whenever I press V, I have my selection tool, this just makes editing faster and more convenient. Second shortcuts you might want to consider using are Trim End and Trim Start. So let's go back to Keyboard Customization, Trim Start, I have it on Q, and Trim End, and I have it on W. So let's go back, let's test it out. So what this does is, it cuts from a either the start of the clip using Q for me or the end of the clip using W. So let's say I want to uh, cut only the start of this clip. I press Q and it's going to cut this part out. And the same if you want to cut the end of the clip. So let's say I, I want to cut this part out. I press W and it's going to cut it out. If you don't want to mess your timeline up like this, like there's a uh, spots there, you can uh, you do this in trim edit mode and it's gonna, it's not gonna mess up the timeline. So if I press Q, as you can see the, the timeline stays the same and I can press V here and I can do this for whatever clip I like. I can do this for this clip here, cut the start of it, you get the point. Another shortcut I use is zoom in and zoom out. Let's go to keyboard customization again zoom in, uh, so it's under view, zoom, and zoom in, I have it, I've set it on S, and let's see, zoom out, it's under view, zoom, and zoom out, and I have it on D, so let's see, I use this because it's way more convenient than using the scroll wheel, I think that the scroll wheel is a little bit weird, so if I press S, it's gonna zoom in, and if I press D, it's going to zoom out. It's just way more easier than using this thing here. So number four is fast forward and fast reverse. If we go back to keyboard customization, type here fast. Fast forward, I have it on shift C. And fast reverse, I have it on shift Z. What this does is, let's go back to start here. If I press shift C, it's going to run through the timeline much faster. And the same with Shift Z, it just does it in a reverse effect. It goes backwards much faster than the normal speed. And the last but not least shortcut that I use is Mark In and Mark Out. So let's go back to keyboard customization here. Mark In, I have it on I. And Mark Out, I have set it on O. Uh, okay, let's go back. Let's actually delete these clips in, uh, from the timeline so I can show you how this works, how I use it. And um, let's say that for this clip here, we have a specific part that we want to put in the timeline, not the whole clip. So let's say starting from here, let's put the start point, the mark in point that we have on I. And then let's go to where we want this clip to end. Let's say here, and let's put the mark out point here. So have this specific part of this clip that we want to put in the timeline. And without any editing, without doing anything in the timeline, we can just drag it in the clip. So this is what I use mark in and mark out points for. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, click this next video. Bye bye.